Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to make a website completely for free and completely from scratch. This is gonna be a beginner's guide to making websites without any background or technical knowledge at all. And with websites, you really have to know three different things or get three different things. You need a domain name, right? That's the website address, so you could send it to people so they could find you. And the second thing is the hosting of the website. So when you build a website, it has to be sitting on some kind of a computer or a server somewhere else, right? You don't want to locally have your website on your computer because something might happen to your computer and the website will be offline. So pretty much every website is hosted by another company, not on your local hard drive. I'll show you exactly how to find that. And third, you need design templates. With design templates, you don't have to have any design skills. You don't have to know HTML or CSS. Basically with the design templates, the website is laid out exactly as you want and there are hundreds of different designs to choose from in the option that I'm gonna show you. So let's get started on building our website completely from scratch. I have a link in the description to this platform and there are plenty of platforms that do this. But for beginners, I love this one because it's gonna give you the domain, it's gonna give you the hosting, it's gonna give you the templates and you don't have to use three different services for those three different things. They're all right over here, okay? So click the link below, jump over here. Now there are some limitations to every free option where you absolutely spend no money. So I'll point those out later and I'll show you why you want to upgrade on some and some you could leave depending on what you're doing this for. Let's go ahead and press get started. And I'll just go ahead and create an account here using my email. And if you're building a website for yourself, you could go ahead and press get started. You could also be using this for creating a website for a client if you do this for someone else. Now, the reason why I like to go through this process is because it's gonna save me a lot of time, but you can't skip this, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this process because this will save you a ton of time on manually picking things, right? Let's say I'm a technology company. Let's go ahead and choose that. Or you could search for anything. If you have a coaching business, for example, you could search for that, right? Coaching professional landing page or fitness coach or business coach. Okay, in this case, I'm a technology. I'll press next. And then it's gonna give you some add-ons for your website, right? Some more advanced stuff that if you did manually or you hired someone's gonna be very, very complex. For now, I'll leave everything off because some of these might be paid upgrades and I wanna just show you all the free options. So if you do want some of these though, go ahead and check them on here. For example, if you're doing blogs or you have a pricing page, go ahead and check those on. I'm gonna press next here. And is this a new business? Yes, but I'm already open. I'll go ahead and press that. And I'm just a one person business on this. And these are marketing things I'm gonna go ahead and skip. This is my first time creating a website. There is an option that's pretty cool. It says, let Wix ADI create a website for you, right? By answering questions, but I'm gonna choose a template here. You could explore this one if you like, but I like the templates because I want to choose rather than let the AI take over for me. So now we're on the website templates. Now the hosting and domain is being taken care of by Wix, right? That's why I haven't covered those in the beginning. We're gonna cover those actually a little bit later, but it's all taken care of by Wix. We don't have to worry about it. But for the website templates, we need to figure out what kind of website we need. You can't start from a blank template though, but I highly recommend you don't do that, right? I wanna be choosing something that a professional designed for me. Again, I'm choosing technology company, but if you change what you are, if you're a store, for example, or if you're a different type of business, or you're just making a blog, make sure you choose something that aligns with the website you want. So let's say I want, actually this looks pretty cool. Let me go ahead and view that. So you could view these and kind of see how they work. So view full demo basically brings you to that website and exactly what it looks like, right? So I could kind of get an idea. It's a pretty cool website and I could get a mobile view too. But I could view more, right? You could just press view and see them. But if you like something, all you have to do Actually, this one is probably more appropriate. It's more simple. Let me go ahead and choose this one. I'm gonna go ahead and press edit on it. And now we're inside of the template design page, right? So with the template design page, you could change anything that you see over here to make it work for you. So just to give you a brief overview of what we have here, this is obviously our website. This is our mobile view if you wanna see things in mobile view. So make sure you do that. Let me skip this for now. Okay, so switch back between desktop and mobile every time you make a change to make sure it looks good. Then you have your menu over here 
and you could do a lot of things here, right? So right now, typically where I get started is I'll just go ahead and edit the banner. So here is that section. You could click over here and type your own text. So you would type out your title based on your company's name here. Later, when you learn how to rank websites in Google, that's called SEO. With SEO, your heading one right here is very important. So usually you wanna put your company name or a keyword. So in this case, I would put top technology firm in Chicago. Let's say that's what I wanted to rank for and I wanna make sure my heading one is appropriate. But again, you wanna make sure visually it makes sense too, right? I'm not just writing this for Google, I'm mainly writing this for people coming to my website. So you would go ahead and change the text and then typically I would click over here and then you could change the background, right? So I could go ahead and select that. That's the one I have existing. And typically you wanna bring your own. So you would select images and bring your own. You could also bring video or you could select anything that you see over here, right? Let's say I just want this simple one. Okay, let's say that's my background. Now, it's really that simple to change backgrounds. If you brought your own, you press image and then you get this huge library where you could upload your own media, pretty straightforward there. You have media from Wix, you have more advanced stuff from Shutterstock, which is a paid option, and you have stuff from Unsplash, which is kind of a free option as well that you could choose, and you would go ahead and search here. So tech is what I want. I will go ahead and search, and let me try this one here and change background to that. You basically go through each of these sections, you double click to select them, and then you type your own text. So edit text here, it's gonna give you this. You have formatting options with every text, and then each text is gonna let you know what theme you're on, right? So heading was the big one, but you definitely want multiple different headings. Heading one is your big font over here, but heading two is smaller, less important, but as you go down, this is basically how important your text is. So if you wanted to change that and change the style, you could go ahead and do that. So I'm not gonna spend more time on editing every section of this template, but simply you just go over there, double click and change anything you want. If you wanna change a color, again, double click on it or click once, change the strip background. You could see it's just set to a solid color. And if you wanted to change the color to something else, you could see you could easily do that just like that. Okay, so I'll change it to that. Now, besides just going through and changing, which I recommend is the first thing you do, then you come up to the menu. So I'm gonna click on the menu and manage my menu on top. Cause a lot of times you wanna change what's being shown and hide what you don't need, right? So where it says, why choose us? I could maybe hide that option. So I'll just go ahead and press hide and it will disappear. So I have home and these three. If I wanted to hide our services, I could hide it as well. So I'll leave that on by hide industries here. You could always duplicate them too to create a new one and then get to it from there. Now this is good, services, home, and contact us is all I need for this simple website. And then your logo, I typically come over here and either change the text or add my own logo, right? So this is my company, so that logo doesn't make sense, so maybe this is ADI. From here, sometimes I go to theme manager here and try to change things based on this theme. So this picked colors for me, so I don't wanna randomly go and change colors, right? Because the theme designed the colors for me. So typically I don't do much, but with text sometimes, I do change the style of text, right? So I may change the font or the font size of the different text types I have. Remember this one's is your heading one you could change, the paragraph was this section underneath it. So each type of font and type of heading and paragraph is going to be on its own with different settings here. You also have your background that you could change from here and there are other things like media you could bring in from here. And then you could always press the plus sign if you wanted to add like a different section. So sometimes I don't think this is everything I want so I could go to the plus sign here and look, let's say I wanna add it about us here. I could go ahead and drag and drop it, boom, right on top and look at that. It added this whole new section for me over here by just dragging and dropping. Now, I typically don't like to do it this way, so I'm gonna press Control Z or Command Z here to undo that, because sometimes I'll just go over here and press the plus sign here instead, and then it'll give me access so I don't drag and drop, but I put it precisely where I press the plus sign. So I'll choose this video, and I'll put it here. 
Again, I'm gonna change the strip background, choose my own video here or choose from any other options I see. Maybe I'll choose this or something related to tech maybe. Okay, so you get the idea here. You could add any section if the section is not already there. So, so far we changed our logo, we changed our menu, we changed the banner, we changed the heading, and then we will change all the text, add different sections. So just to go ahead and look at it on mobile view, you would press this option again, make sure everything looks good, including everything we've just added. Now, unless you have a one page website, you're going to have other pages, right? The menu is taking us to the service page, to the contact page. So we do need to also edit those. And that's over here under pages. If you click this drop down, you could go to your other pages, right? So why choose us? I could jump into that page. And then again, it's exactly the same as editing the homepage, right? You click on anything, you could go ahead and change the strip background, you go ahead and change the text, edit that text. So nothing new over here, but I do recommend that you go through all the pages that are available and you could obviously delete any pages that do not make sense. I could go to the manage pages tab here. And again, this was our top menu, but if any page doesn't make sense, you could go ahead and remove it, right? So I wanna maybe delete this page entirely. I'll press delete on that. And if you need to add any page, you could go ahead and add a page from here. That page transition I mentioned, by the way, how it goes from one page to another, it's under this tab too. Now, typically on websites, none is just fine, but you can add cool page transitions from this page. And let's say we're done. I'm just fast forwarding to where we made all our adjustments to this page. You could go up here to preview just to kind of get an idea with a clean looking website without all the design elements to see what it looks like. And let's say we're happy with this website, okay? What I really wanna do here is press save. And this is our domain section. In some other tutorials that I've covered on building a website, I typically buy my domain from a different platform and then use something like WordPress to make our website, but this is an all-in-one, right? So a free domain at Wix.com looks like this. So your company, in this case, let's say my company is Halfinity, it would be this website slash Halfinity, and I could continue. For custom domain, this is the limitations to a free website. Typically, there is no such thing as a custom domain where you type out your website exactly, that's completely free. Now, you may be able to find it for free, but then they'll upcharge you when you renew it the year two or three. So this, if you need it for business, it's something that is recommended for a paid upgrade. But for the sake of this website, we're on a free tutorial. So we'll go ahead and use the free one. So there it is. My website is saved at this and I could send this to anybody. I could share it on social media, but it's not yet published, right? That's where the hosting comes into play. So that was the template. This is the domain. The hosting is here. If I press publish, my website is now live, right? That's all it took. Let me show you what it looks like when I view it. Literally, if you go to this website, you're gonna see exactly what I just published using this free option. But this does also have other limitations besides the domain. You will get this banner here because you're getting free hosting. If you get free hosting from anywhere, they're gonna do advertising, right? Because they have to make money somehow, right? This is completely free. They give you the domain, they give you the hosting. So if you don't like this and you need this for your business, for example, that is another reason to upgrade. So I'll show you some of the upgrade options over here on their website. I'll press upgrade on this page. And typically, this is the one I have on some of my websites, entrepreneurs and freelancers. You get that custom domain, right? So you could have your website be like Wix.com or whatever domains available. You don't have to have that longer free one. Now you get a free domain for a whole year. So that save you some money there. And you remove that Wix ad, right? So these are critical. And you also get free SSL certificate. This is more a secure version of a website that nowadays you almost have to have it as mandatory and it increases your storage space to three gigabytes where I believe the free one is only 500 megabytes. And if you do get this, you do get some other things like analytics and you do get your own professional logo on some of the higher ones. You also get a $300 ad voucher to things like Google ads, which I do have videos on my channel about. So this is the one I typically recommend people get started with, but this one does give you a whole bunch more if you're a completely new business. If you don't have a logo, you don't have things for social media, this kind of makes sense for how much those things will cost you separate. 
And obviously there's other plans under the business tab and under enterprise. If you're doing this for business, for example, the business unlimited is actually a pretty good deal with everything you get, including massive amount of storage here. And that's your crash course on building a website from scratch. I do have other tutorials covering other platforms as well. So this is not your only solution. There are other platforms like WordPress and Squarespace that I have dedicated tutorials for. So I'll put all the resources, including the link to this platform in the description below. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I hope to catch you next time.